Well, a story of love, race, identity, and politics is now on stage at the uh, Penumbra Theater. This bitter earth is a play centered on the relationship of an interracial gay couple. And we are joined now by Harrison David Rivers, the playwright of This Bitter Earth, uh, also the play's director, Talvin Wilkes. Uh, great to have both of you guys yeah. here. It's Appreciate it very much. Here. Thank you. Uh, Talvin, let, let's start with you. What's the Certainly. show about? How do you explain it to people? Well, I call it, uh, it's an interracial gay boy love story set against Black Lives Matters. Mm -hmm. um, really sort of an engagement of politics um, in the midst of their everyday lives. Okay. Um, Harrison, you wrote this. Um, and we hear those topics, and you were saying initially, you can think, oh my gosh, this is going to be like the heaviest play that I've ever heard in my entire life. Right. But you say, there's actually a lot of humor in this. You know, it's something that I didn't even realize until mm. we started adding an audience, and right. people uh -huh. started laughing. And I think it's because it is a love story. It's about these two men and about sort of their daily lives together. And I think so much of what happens to us in our daily lives and relationships is quite funny. Mm -hmm. um, and so... It is sort of a, they're not jokes, but the audiences are are laughing and then right. laughs upon laughs, yeah. Um, yeah. which I think actually like opens you up to then some of the more serious elements yeah. of the piece. Yeah. Relatable, a lot of relatable pieces yes. in, in, in the yes, play. Definitely. What made you want to write it? Uh, well, I was commissioned to write the play. So a theater asked me to write a play about uh, sort of black bodies in America. Mm -hmm. um, and this was sort of my interpretation of that, like looking at my own life and my own relationship mm. and putting some of those things, uh, my experiences on yeah. stage. Yeah, I think we have some photos here from, uh, from the production. Let's take a look at this here. Talvin, I wanna have you touch on this. Yeah. What, what struck me right away was a <coughs> lot of like projections mm -hmm. used in this, a lot of kind of like modern technology. Right. What's the feel that you're going for for people that are in attendance? Well, for me, I think of it as a sort of a memory play, a dream play. I mean, we set it inside of a, a bedroom. I mean, that's a choice. And then the idea of all of these different places throughout the course of their life, they move back and forth over a period of time. Mm -hmm. So the, the world is meant to be magical and sort of the walls sort of take on sort of news footage, reporting, uh, images of their thoughts, uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get this really beautiful uh, meditation on, on life and intimacy mm. and joy and along with the challenge of dealing with these issues of, yeah. of you know, the killings of black men. Yeah, they're big issues that are very relevant to today. Um, right. Harrison, what do you want people to take away from this show? I, I, I feel like I just want people to be moved and to potentially have people leave thinking about, about sort of these happenings mm -hmm. and, I mean, the fact that they are still happening. Yeah. Um, and to just be more aware than they were when they came in. Okay. Awareness is a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely. For all of us. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys both for being thank here. You. Appreciate thank you very it very much. much. Sounds like a, a wonderful show. Excited for people to see it. It runs uh, through May 20th at the uh, Penumbra Theater. We have information, of course, for you at care11.com if you want to learn more all about it. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back.